Today I'm doing the fourth and last in my series of butterfly paintings. I start with a very quick sketch um, showing roughly where some of the berries and the leaves will be just to give an idea of what I'm doing. Then I thought I might cheat a bit and use some stamp brushes to position some more leaves and as you can see I'm popping them in all over the place and it's a right mess so I soon stop that. So having decided I was going to paint the leaves properly I soon get stuck into it and uh, start feeling my way into it and you can see um, here I'm using a studio brush to put in the basic dot, uh, medium tone green and then I use the grunge brush from the texture series to put in the, sh the uh, darker tones and the highlights. I also use a fine brush from the inking set to put in the veins and you can see it gives it a bit of a nice crinkly look. Um, I see at the top now also put in a little bit of a stalk and generally I'm just feeling my way into the painting to see how it goes. At this point I'm feeling my way into the painting still. I'm putting a few leaves here and there and uh, trying to build up a bit of a composition um, and you can see it's not going too badly at the moment. I'm leaving little patches where the berries are going to be and here you can see I'm putting the first one in. I start off with a black background uh, and then light, very dark purple and a lighter highlight um, and by making circles and putting the highlights on you can see that it soon starts to look like a berry. Um, then I put a few stalks on, um, something to hold the berry in place, stalks onto the leaves and it's looking reasonably good. Um, the next thing I try is a red berry using a similar system with a medium red tone, then a lighter red tone and a darker red tone and then an highlight. Right now I start to go um, well into the painting with a lot more uh, bramble stalk so that now that I can see where I'm going. Three tones, a light um, tone ready brown for the main bramble stalk and then when, on the side that isn't catching the light I put a darker tone and a lighter tone on the side that is catching the light and if you do that um, it makes things look cylindrical um, and that's the name of the game. You can see I'm still putting leaves in but now we're getting very close to the last place where I actually keep painting leaves and I think this is the last one. For the rest of the painting of the leaves I more or less use the copy and paste facility and the different layers in Procreate so that I can just take leaves and move them around the painting hither and thither um, making sure none of them look like they've been duplicated but as you can see I've quickly populated the rest of the painting with a lot more leaves. Now you can see that I'm putting in some more stalks um, the same as the others but I've um, left the opacity a little bit lower so that they look like they're further behind and you can see I've even put thorns on them. The thorns were all done with a stamp brush. I made one thorn um, and then just stamped it on along the edges of the brambles. It's uh, very quick and it's a simple way of doing thorns and they look realistic enough for me. Now then here we're getting down to the nitty gritty now. I'm starting to paint the butterfly at the top. A Red Admiral, one of my favourite butterflies. You don't see too many of them about but when you do they're always welcome the butterfly finished I just don't like the size of it or the way it's sitting on the blackberry so I uh, just quickly move it around which is one of the beauties of uh, digital painting. Next to come uh, some more blackberries I'm putting some over on the left hand side you can see I'm actually uh, doing a green one now um, I was going to put a few more green ones in but it was a bit problematic so I decided that the best thing to do would be to stick to mostly black and red blackberries. I was now getting a bit fed up with painting blackberries so what I did was I did the same as I did with the leaves and I copied and pasted 
a whole load of them uh, into the places where I thought they ought to be um, and it made it a lot easier and a lot quicker right so here we are now painting the other butterfly um, pretty straightforward he's just off center so one wings a little bit bigger than the other um, and it's just a matter of um, following the markings and uh, filling it in one word I'd like to say about the uh, copying and pasting is that I mean people might frown upon it but I don't think there's anything wrong with it I've mentioned it before in previous videos the secret is if you want to make the painting look reasonably realistic is to make sure that after you've done the copy and pasting the one that you've just pasted alter it in some way so that it doesn't look exactly like the one that you've just copied it's almost finished now just time to put a bit more detail into the blackberries um, the one at the bottom bunch at the bottom you can see that uh, I'm putting in one of those furry little things that's left behind when the blackberry has been pinched by somebody who wanted to make a blackberry and apple pie been a good while since I've had one of them beauties I can tell you still you can see that it helps to give that little bit of realism well I hope it does anyway oh there you have it two red admiral butterflies feeding on some blackberries I hope I made that reasonably interesting um, if you enjoyed it please subscribe and I look forward to sharing another video with you shortly